Well, Governor McMaster out here in Rock Hill earlier today for an economic development celebration for actually this building behind me. But we're going to turn our attention now to his Twitter handle earlier today, sending out a series of tweets. We'll put those right up on your screen for you to read and saying that, quote, it is clear that Sheriff Will Lewis's ability to effectively lead one of South Carolina's largest law enforcement agencies has been compromised by inappropriate actions, actions which he's acknowledged. It would be in the public's best interest for him to voluntarily step aside if I could remove him from office, I most certainly would. The thing is, Governor McMaster does not have the ability to remove Lewis from office unless Lewis were to be indicted for a crime involving something called moral turpitude, and a big word, but basically it means that he can only take action if the current SLED investigation results in charges. However, McMaster says since Sheriff Lewis admitted to, quote, conduct, his confidence in, Lewis, in Sheriff Lewis is gone. He's not been charged with a crime. This is a question, as I see it, of, of public confidence in a, an elected official. And when that confidence is gone, it's time for the elected official to be gone. And Governor McMaster joins a growing list of local and state lawmakers to ask Sheriff Lewis to step down. Should Lewis step down, McMaster would appoint an interim sheriff and a special election would be held to elect a new sheriff. At this time, Lewis has given no indication that he will be resigning. Madeline Hackett, WYFF News 4 in Rock Hill.